Hey guys, so I bought myself a new tool slash toy. Yeah. I bought a cold cut saw. So my abrasive cut, cut off saw um, decided that it didn't like life anymore a few months ago. I haven't really needed one of these, but this was on sale. So I ended up buying it. I bought it from KBC Tools. They're a distributor out of Canada. Uh, I'm sure there's lots of places down in the States you can buy them from. But this one is a 15 inch one. Um, I wanted to go with a bigger one. So that's the specs on it right there. But a lot of them are 14 inch. I wanted to go with a 15 inch one because the 15 inch one gives you a little bit more throw on your cuts when you're doing angles. Well, just in general. But we're gonna do the unboxing, see what it looks like inside. And then I actually have a piece of three inch square tubing um, quarter wall that I need to cut up. So it's a perfect time to pull this out and we'll give her a whirl and see what I think about it. Um, I do have a cold cut saw, like the, the skill saw type one. Um, and I really do like that. That one's a Milwaukee. I actually would have bought a Milwaukee one of these, um, but they don't make it anymore for some reason. So uh, I guess can't do that. But I did a, bit to re a little bit of research and apparently this is a really good brand. So we are going to pull it out of the box here and see what we got. As usual, stuff is usually packed up pretty good. Not really sure what that is. Maybe for holding tube or something. Guess we'll see when we get into it. Manual. An imagine chip tray. Ah. Oh, blade. So these are carbide toothed blades uh, for cutting metal uh i was i actually wanted to order another one of these blades when i ordered it but they didn't have one in stock i don't know if you can put a 14 inch blade in this or not hmm. it actually says 14 inch blade right on this blade but the box is it's a 15 inch hmm. i guess we'll have to look into that a little bit Guess we'll see. Nonetheless, it was on sale anyway, so even if it ends up being just a 14 inch, but that does say 14 inch on it. So we'll cut the zap off. Definitely have it packed up well, that's for sure. It definitely has a little girth to it. I don't know what it weighs, it's probably 45, 50 pounds. sure why it comes with two pairs of these. All a different size blade maybe. A little bit a little bit more stability. Seems like it's well, decently built. 
think. Anyway, just need to get a handle key to take that blade off. Survey says, let's try standard, so I can measure. I think that's what those are the, the extra pieces are for a 15 inch blade, I guess. Because like this said, this one says 14 inch blade on it, but it's supposed to be a 15 inch saw. But we'll see. Simple. So let's go into the manual. Just quick here. Go into the manual quick. And just see what that. I think that one tray is a chip tray. Oh, warranty card. We should fill that out. Because I likely will need it. Because I'm kind of I'm kind of hard on stuff. Uh, oh, okay, it's for tubing. <laughs> okay. So this thing is actually for holding tubing in there. Oh, that's kind of cool. I think just seeing a picture of how they use it. guys here so we can see and I can see if I can do this with one hand That just slips over the top of there and then it holds tubing for you. So that's kind of slick. Though the only thing I don't see is a spot to hang it on. That'd be nice. So I might have to build, I think I'll have to build a little, a little thing to hang this on, on the side of it. Because otherwise, probably lose it. I guess I could just, when I'm not using it, I guess we could just slide it on there. But you know how that is. And then the chip tray, I'm gonna say, just slide right in there, I think. Hold on. Growing pains of new equipment. Okay, just has a little tong on it. Well, you just turn the Allen key and it's pretty easy. Something that I kind of thought it would have came with an Allen key. Everything has is the same size Allen key, but it doesn't have an Allen key. At least I don't see one anyway. Because I know my old, I don't even remember what brand my old one was. It had an Allen key built right into it. Like it just had a slot that it went into. I guess you can't have everything. So we have that. I think I'm just gonna throw these extra pieces in the warranty card toolbox for now. 
and we'll go cut stuff. Seems like it's well well built so far. Give her a whirl and see what we get here. Don't forget your safety spectacles while using one. Because these things do throw all kinds of metal. Alright, let's go. Yonder. Definitely got some girth to it. see better. I'm not standing in the way. So this thing cuts. I do want to recommend, I know I'm not the guy that usually wears safety glasses all the time. Wear safety glasses and earring pro hearing protection. I can see earring protection. Hearing protection because uh, this these things do usually throw a bunch of crap so you want to make sure that you get that. Everything's tight. See what it sounds like when it fires up. Well, I'm not going to lie, that's actually pretty slick. Cut some more. It definitely throws stuff, so you want to make sure that you're not getting covered in stuff. These aren't precision cuts. Basically, what I'm making is um, basically what I'm making is some lifting hooks. So this isn't really precision engineering by any stretch. one that I can't cut but I will say like they're not even hot I probably am not quite as aggressive as I should be pushing to start with see it bouncing a little bit you guys will be able to see that that's one well, of the first couple cuts that I did I wasn't given enough gumption use of just an abrasive and you kind of got to give it a second to start but Don't wait, it just carves right in. That's a pretty nice cut. Super impressed with that. I don't know how long it was taking, I'll, I'll, how long it'll take to, it was to cut, and I'll probably fast forward through some of that because you guys aren't going to want to watch that whole thing. But definitely, if you guys are looking for a cold cut saw, um, this is a pretty good bang, buck for your bang for your buck. Uh, the 14 inch one. I think it was a little bit cheaper than the 15. I'm gonna have to do a little research about the blade because I thought it should come with a 15 inch blade being it is a 15 inch. And it even does say 15 inch right on the top of it here. So I don't know why it came with a 14 inch blade. Maybe they didn't have any or something. Um, but one thing to note, which all saws are the same way, I should have known known better. Um, there, I can't cut this one on here. Um, so I'll probably end up just cutting out with a hand grinder because I want the extra piece. But that's pretty slick. So I'm just going to clean up here now. Uh, nothing super crazy. We're just going to, I'm just going to clean up, probably deburr these things. You guys have watched me do that stuff before. And if you need one of these saws, hit these guys up. I'm sure you can probably buy them all kinds of places. Um, I won't go into depth as far as that goes. Just find somebody, a retailer that sells them and buy one up. They're pretty nice. Mine, I would give two thumbs up for what they're worth. Like I said, this one was a little bit more expensive one because it was the 15 inch one. Uh, but you know the 14 inch one I'm sure it would work just fine. I just wanted it for the bigger swing 
So if you guys are interested in buying one of these things, I'll see about linking it down below for you guys. I'm not sure, um, maybe I'll link their website down below or something, I'm not sure. Uh, but I'll let you guys know, uh, or check out in the description, I shouldn't say I'll let you know. Check down in the description, like, subscribe, hit me down in the comments, and remember, it's not rocket science.